She got far too early for April Fool's jokes. Look, the court has an opening. Moving Paul Ryan's trial up makes plenty of sense. Perfect sense. All right, and I will expect your full cooperation, Detective. All right, and you will receive it. Begrudgingly? You'll take what you get. I will. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm here to talk to the B&E you've got held up in lockup. Here. Here's everything I have on him. First time offense. Young probably needed the money for drugs. Thanks. I know my way. What in the world does he want now? Never sneak up on a lady with a new liver. Ugh, sorry, but I heard him ask about Paul. Go home, Bonnie. Marco, and what? Let that wacko frame Paul? You know what? It is not the wacko that I am worried about. Do you know why Isaac has those bruised ribs? Because that is Stenbeck's way of giving a warning shot. That is Stenbeck telling us to back off. So what we're supposed to do, just let Marsha Travers send Paul to jail for a crime he did not commit? No, you will. I let me and the rest of the law enforcement community try and find a way to bring him in. Do you have any evidence, Margo? I mean, any solid evidence linking James Stenbeck to the Lakeview on the night of the murder? Because I do. I have something James Stenbeck would kill for. No amount of looking will change the facts of this case. I'm perfectly clear of the facts of this case. Jessica, my hands are tied. If Bonnie's witness had actually identified James as actually... The witness was terrified or bought or both. Well, if he was, I had no knowledge of that. For an intelligent man, you have little knowledge of anything. Look, no matter what we've been through, I still want to be the kind of man you believe in. Marshall, you are so far from that man, it's not even funny. Okay, I'm sorry that took so long. You didn't tell my mom I was here, did you? No, I didn't. But, Bonnie, I need you to stay away from this investigation. You won't say that once you see what's in this bag. Uh, um. Two guesses on who this belongs to. Where'd you get that? James tried to burn it. Now, Paul has always said that his father was at the Lakeview on the night of the murder dressed in vampire drag, right? Now, is it or is it not the remains of a vampire cake? All right, that, that may be, but Bonnie, Stand I... Stenbeck tried to burn it, Margot, because he needed to get rid of any evidence that would link him to Brandy's murder. Where'd you get this? Fairwinds? What? What is it? What do you see? It's a label from a costume shop, no. Maybe if whoever made the sale can tie this to Stenbeck. All right, Bonnie, I'll take this from here. No, 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 Margo, I cannot let you have this cake. What? Ex what? I need it. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say this again. This is about my mother and Marshall Travers and the fact that Prague got proof of their affair on videotape. Wait, I don't understand. I want to take this evidence to Marshall and exchange it for that tape. If I can get the tape, then I can destroy it and save my mom from that dog for good. Honey, listen, I know how much you want to protect your mother, but this is far too risky. Come on, Margo, think of how much it could get us. Marshall Travers is either going to do one of two things. He will either go get the tape from James, and then we'll know for sure that he is James Pawn, or he will use this piece of evidence. He will use it to prove that Paul was telling the truth. Wait a minute, now, you want to run a sting on Marshall Travers? In my opinion, it is the only way to find out what kind of man he really is. I'm not going to let James Stenbeck hurt my mother and Ben. Oh, come on, Margot. You know Travers is dirty, and you want him gone as much as I do. Let's say, for argument's sake, that... You haven't been here, and I never saw this piece of evidence. And suppose I approach Travers to try and make a deal. And let's say that I let you. I want you would not regret. There is one stipulation. 
I need you to call me immediately when the meet is set up. And I want 24-hour surveillance around you undercover. Okay, okay, I promise. I will check in with you the minute I set things up with Travers. I don't like this, Bonnie. But if it works, then hey, we all win. Okay, let's just, let's just see if he bites. Okay, the minute everything is ready and all set up, I will let you know. But be ready because I want this over with. <laughs>